let's get to this. So left first, not animated and cast on pins. It's not my... It's, it's not my fault. Cool, I like this a lot. It's not... It's not my... It's I think what I would do here, so she's not always staring, like she's staring off to the distance because she's thinking about what happened and now she makes a choice to say something. So you could have a slight little eye dart just for a little bit of a process. Like, okay, okay, I thought about this. All right, now let's do this. Just a little one. It doesn't have to be, you know, a huge amount, but just at least one. Okay, well, now there's a little bit of a change mentally. It's not my... Because you're starting to have them here, I would just have it slightly earlier. It's not my... And actually, I would take that one out. That makes sense. So, up, dart, and a bit bigger than what you have here. Because now, right, that way you have staring, she's thinking, about, okay, okay, now... I'm thinking about what happened. Boom, dar. Okay, I'm gonna say this. It's not. And my... then that is good, and that's where the breakdown happens again. Then she can stare again because she's still thinking about what happened. Then you do this. My. It's. It's not my fault. Yeah, the rest is great. I love it. Um, and animation wise, I would just say it just feels all very one axis. So as you continue on, I would just add more complexities to the body and head, mostly head. So if you're in this, it's no you know, offsets. And I know you know all this, but I'm just I'm just mentioning what I'm seeing here. Even this going up could have a little bit of a sideways arc. And you know, it, it just feels like this is the character, and you tilted it forward versus. If this is the pain that she has, um, it would be she would have a slight arc over here with a compensating head. Now imagine your pain, it's kind of like she got hurt here, so there might be some scratches here. But I imagine the full attack came from this side, which you know, it, it came from everywhere. But you know, just imagine that's the pain here, so just that pain could kind of radiate out. So that's why to me, she would have a slight curve to it. It's not And in that way it also plays into you know it's not just curvature this way, it's just all slightly bent. And then when she straightens up here, you can straighten again, which gives her more strength. Like, okay, I'm straightened up, I'm gonna say this. It's not my And then I like how you start drooping over, but then you can start drooping over sideways as well. Like she goes back and breaks back into what she was before. But you can see how this is all one axis going forward. My. That's cool. Like now you're sorry. Now you're breaking things up. That makes it interesting, more organic. My. And I think right through here, I would just push the pain a bit more in her face. Like she's trying. She's trying. Oh, this is just too painful. Boom! Just a one, one little bit more. Maybe a little twitch. A little. Um, you know, a little, uh, what's it called? Um, I am forgetting the word. Uh, but not like, not like a spasm. What is it called? When you cringe a little bit. Just a little bit to push that, which makes you go into this. There's a good breathing here. So as you do this, you know, even through here, you can see how um, it just kind of rotates in one axis. It collapses the chest here. So even through here, you know, again, because of the pain, because of this ability here, it will kind of shift your body a bit more to the side. I'm basing this all on my uh, appendix <laughs> operation on this side where I was completely leaning over for some reason. That's cool. I love all that. Right, she's trying again. 
it just feels a bit even that arm coming down and you, if you look at the wrist how the wrist bends the other way and then comes back down it's almost like an overlap drag overlap type of thing and there's something it just feels like a move versus is she now taking the hand off holding the here a little bit for the dramatic pause before the second straighten maybe into a little fist a bit earlier you know so that that arm move just feels animated and it doesn't feel performed if that makes sense it's that's great again this feels just one axis down this way so some complexities in there and there's not much going on in the chest it's just you know future passes you'll head uh, accents in uh, complexities and how it takes the chest with it just a bit more and i know you know this i'm just saying it it's it's not my this could be cool here it's, it's that inhale to be stronger chest shoulder something in the head where she tried ah and this just just feels like yeah whatever i'm trying but no it's almost like you want one more something powerful in her body through that inhale it, like i want to try again it's not my fault and then it's not my fault this is one of those where it's just jaw slapped on to move so this is her, this is the last try. She's really saying it through all of the pain, all of the mental and physical pain. So there's a lot more you can do with, with uh, chest in the head here. It's not my fault. You know, like something where it's a little bit of a shoulders up and then kind of a sideways tilt, like a lean over, it's not my fault. And then, then on the up, a bit of a uh, shoulder down and get into this and then also make like a sideways arc. It's not my fault. And then you can, as she makes eye contact here, you can decide, boom, during that last moment, are you going to bring down those corners? Is that the, you know, not angry, but, you know, stern. But it's, it's, it's a change in her face at the end. Like she said it, there's eye contact. And what does that mean? I'm making eye contact for what I'm getting. You know, it's almost like I'm getting more mad not my fault damn it or it's not my fault please help me you know because why else would she make contact like, what's the point so story wise what is she telling that character why does she want to make eye contact uh and through all of this here like i'm not sure i'm not sure what the resolve is here story telling wise for her it's not my fault meaning fuck it i'm gonna fight back or i need help like, I need your help, which could be sister, mom, whatever it is, right? Or nurse, whatever it is here. Yeah. Love the setting, love the line. I love that there's so much said without actual lip sync, you know, the actual uh, line in there. It's really cool. Love it all. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.